Hello, this is the September 2011 video edition of the Iowa General Fund Monthly Revenue Memo. I am Jeff Robinson, Senior Fiscal Analyst for the Iowa Legislative Services Agency, the nonpartisan support agency of the Iowa Legislature. This video will cover the first three months of cash fiscal year 2012, and I will also provide a final revenue accounting for fiscal year 2011. While September 2011 revenue declined slightly compared to September 2010, the decline was due entirely to law changes and deposit timing issues that should not be considered part of September revenue. The major change impacting September and in fact the first six or seven months of this fiscal year relates to an allocation change initiated July 1st that deposits the first $106 million of cigarette and tobacco tax annual revenue to a fund outside of the general fund. This action makes unadjusted fiscal year 2012 appear less favorable when compared to fiscal year 2011. Over the first three months of the cash year, net revenue has declined 3%, but again, the decline is entirely the result of the allocation change. This table provides the revenue change numbers for the month of September and also the fiscal year to date without any adjustments. September net revenue decreased $3.8 million, with only school infrastructure tax refunds providing a drag, and that change is an annual accounting adjustment for the previous fiscal year that just happens to occur in September. Turning to the year-to-date second column, we see that the gross other revenue line is positive and the remaining items provide negative comparisons on a cash basis. As mentioned earlier, however, revenue adjustments are necessary before comparing fiscal year 2012 to fiscal year 2011. This table provides the known adjustments necessary to accurately compare fiscal year 2011 to fiscal year 2012 on a cash basis. The table starts with the negative $43.5 million unadjusted figure from the previous table. The next line adjusts for a recent change to the Iowa Code directing $106 million of cigarette tax receipts to a fund outside of the general fund. This has impacted general fund receipts by about $59 million through September. Second, an increase in the school infrastructure refund amount decreased net revenue $20 million and the increase is due to an adjustment to the pace of transfers to properly account for fiscal year 2011 local money. Next, a $10 million deposit that was scheduled to be made September 30th was delayed until October. The bottom line of this table reflects an adjusted growth for the first two months of positive $45.5 million, an increase of about 3.2%. Let's now have a look at net receipts by month over the most recent 13 months. For the following charts, the underlying numbers have not been adjusted for any calendar or processing issues. Revenue increase months are colored blue and decrease months are red. With September's unadjusted decline, net revenue has now posted declines for four of the past seven months. However, without the cigarette tax allocation change, the most recent two negative months would have been positive. Personal income tax revenue is the most significant source of general fund revenue and July, August, and September have all been positive months and the overall growth rate for that period is a decent 4.4%. Sales and use tax revenue has shown a similar pattern to personal income tax with 11 growth months in the past year. Over the past three months, sales and use tax gross revenue increased 2.2%. Cigarette and tobacco taxes are part of other taxes, and it is here that we see the impact of the tax allocation change with significant decline shown July through September. The month of September is the third in a string of months that will show significant declines in other taxes due to this allocation change, and the decline will continue through December or January. Looking at net revenue on a long-term basis, we see that the recent upward trajectory of the dark blue line, the line that shows net revenue without transfer revenue, has stalled at about $5.8 billion annually. Without the cigarette tax allocation change, the dark line would continue to show monthly increases. The Iowa fiscal year runs from July 1st through June 30th, but the accounting books remain open for a period of time after June 30th to allow for the proper reporting of revenue and tax refunds into the appropriate fiscal year. That period ends September 30th, so we can now provide a final breakdown of fiscal year 2011. This table shows that a net revenue amount of $5.898 billion was deposited into the general fund, including transfer revenue. This amount was $265 million, or 4% higher than the fiscal year 2010 net revenue level, and it was $42.7 million above the level projected by the March 2011 Revenue Estimating Conference, 
a forecasting error of about 0.7%. In summary, the month of September was on its face a slightly negative month, but with proper adjustment, the month was nicely positive. Similarly, net revenue deposits for the first three months of the cash fiscal year are negative, but this is the result of revenue allocation changes, negative adjustments impacting fiscal year 2011, and deposit timing issues. After adjustment, cash year net revenue growth is more like positive 3.2%. Long term, net general fund revenue is still well below the peak level reached in the fall of 2008. Fiscal year 2011 closed on a positive note with net revenue $42.7 million above projections. I thank you for your interest in Iowa general fund revenue. Goodbye and please check out the next monthly video memo in early November.